Hello everyone, this is the Bovine Terror, and today we are going to be creating the Saurian tier list. Now, before I begin, I have something very important to talk about. Actually, I actually have a few things to talk about, but the first thing is that 92% of the people watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. Which, well, the fuck, guys? Ed, please subscribe. That would be very nice, it'd be very helpful, uh, it would help the channel to grow, and I would like the channel to continue growing, so please do so. If you do enjoy watching these videos, it does really help to subscribe and like them, if you do like them. So, yeah, just getting out of there immediately, so that's the first thing. Second thing, where where are the gaming videos at? Because this has been a few months um, since I've done a gaming video. Uh, the last one that I did have up was a, was a Subnautica video, and... That was footage I recorded quite a few months ago. So essentially, my computer has been having some issues with playing and recording games at the same time. So I haven't been able to, well, I haven't been able to record games. Yeah, for now, I kind of have to put games on the back burner. Um, I just can't do them yet. Uh, so I'm going to have other content that I had planned for like subscriber specials, but I kind of figured, well, I can't do games right now for some reason so i might as well just do all this other stuff so today is one of the, is the start of some of that stuff so we're going to be doing the saurian tier list in which we are going to be looking at all of the creatures that currently in the game and putting them on this tier list now i have to uh preface a few things i don't know if there's other like better tier list things but this one seems like the one that most people use is tier maker and oh my god it's such a terrible website like, I'm sorry, Tier Maker, but you need to fix your shit, because it's so bad. It, it, this was the this was the, one of the hardest, like, things to make, which should have been simple. All you had to do was, like, upload pictures here and then m have this chart, and that's it. That's all you had to do, and then you could just pick them up and move them wherever you need them from there. But, like, it seems easy, right? No, it wasn't, because it doesn't let you preview the pictures until you make the chart. So I uploaded a bunch of pictures, and like half of them were bad. Half of them you couldn't see the creature in the picture, so I had to re-upload them. Um, but then when I went to go re-upload them, I went to like hit edit, and I went to just add pictures, and I added them, and then when I put them in, it added all the pictures that didn't get rid of the old ones though. And it was like, okay, let me delete the old ones. And it wouldn't let me delete the old ones. It would only let me add them. So the only way I could fix it was if I went in and deleted the whole chart and do it all like start all over again which is so inconvenient and it doesn't make any sense i don't know why this edit button exists if you can't delete pictures that are bad and you also see that this is titled saurian game one tier list maker now initially it was called saurian tier list maker but that was my test one to see if it worked and see if it you know was good and so i just uploaded a few pictures just to see if it even worked like just to see how it was going and so i deleted the whole thing and then for some reason it, i went back in and i tried to type in saurian again and then it said oh this name's already taken and it was like no it's not and i looked it up on the like search bar thing and it wasn't there because i deleted it so I then I had to remake it, and I called it Saurian Game, and then I did it in, and then I went in, and then I put all the pictures in, and that's when I discovered that you couldn't delete the pictures. So I had to go back and remake the whole thing again, and it still said that Saurian Game existed, so I had to make it Saurian Game 1. So yeah, this website's not very good. If you guys know of a better website to do tier lists, please let me know, because my god, this was annoying, and I really don't like it, and I just want a good one. So, if somebody can tell me, that'd be cool, because I actually want to do some more tier list things, like on Empires of the Undergrowth, and Subnautica, so if you guys can tell me about that, that'd be cool. So, I have a list of all the animals in Saurian, and we're just gonna rank them, and this is... I, judgments are, um, uh, well, they're random, and they're just subject to how I feel about the creatures, but basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be ranking these creatures based on, based on how I feel about these creatures, both real life and in the game, but mostly how they pertain to the game. So, yeah, it's going to be very it's subjective, nothing, there's no real parameters, I'm going to be doing it based off looks sometimes, based off of how they act in the game, uh, just whatever, so yeah, anyway, starting off, we, our first one is Oshiraptor, this guy right here, I'm going to put Oshiraptor like B, because I think Oshiraptor is pretty cool, 
Um, oh, by, I also forgot to mention if 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 uh, if we when we get to if some of them the pictures are kind of cut off, it's because I put them in and I gave up trying to make a third template because you can't delete the pictures. So I'm sorry if the pictures aren't that good. Anyway, so Osho Raptor's cool. Um, I'd say like B because they're they're pretty they're pretty neat um, in the game. They were going to be the playable Raptor in the game, and they changed it to Dakota Raptor. Um, so they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I don't really have any strong feelings for or against them. Um, they're kind of a, a bit of a menace when you're like a tiny little baby because they'll just kill you if they see you and they're faster than you, which is fair, honestly. <laughs> um, but then like as soon as you're like bigger than a just a baby, they don't mess with you anymore. So I, you know, they're fine and they're cool looking. I, you know, and I like raptors, so I'm good with them being there. So B. All right. Anatosaurus. I, I mean... Anatosauruses are fine. They're they're cool. I don't know. Nothing spectacular about them, but I'd say they're on the lower end of cool, I guess. I don't know. Of all the hadrosaurs, I think they're one of the more boring ones. It's cool that they can get so big, but I don't know. They don't have any fun crests, and they just kind of, you know, meander around, but... Yeah, so Natasaurus is fine. Now, granted, Natasaurus is cool because my very first, very first Saurian Hunt series one was the Natasaurus one. That one has the most views by far, so that's kind of cool. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm fine with Natasaurus. They'll go and see. Uh, all right, Ankylosaurus. So I like Ankylosaurus quite a bit. Ankylosaurus is cool. Um, I don't know. I guess I guess B as well below Oshoraptor. Um, they're they're, I don't know, they're just cool. They're kind of a rare sight, so it's pretty fun when you find them. Yeah, anyway, that's in, yeah, in Kylosaurus. Basilemus. Basilemus is S tier. Basilemus is such a good little boy. I love Basilemus so much. They are so cute, and I love how flat they are, and I love that they just kind of hang out and look at you, and they don't even, like, try to hide from you unless you, like, run at them, or if you try to bite them or something, like, or if you, like, walk on them. Like, they just kind of sit there. They're just, they're just sweet little, little boys. I, I love them so much. So, S tier, 100%. They're the best they're probably the best creature in the game, or at least my favorite. But yeah. Alright. Borealisuchus. Okay, I'm putting Borealisuchus in like D. And here's why. Because Borealisuchus, there's there's an achievement that you can get for killing Borealisuchus. And the reason that it's an achievement is because it's really hard to kill Borealisuchus. Not for any particular reason of you know it being big and scary like they're mu they're way other animals and like, they're way way more anim Ooh. <laughs> uh there are many other animals in the game that are much harder to kill than borealisuchus but borealisuchus has an achievement because if you jump on borealisuchus's back uh, they can reach back and bite you and deal damage, which is kind of crazy because I actually don't think there's anything else in the game that can do that. Like, once you're RPRing something, they can't hurt you, except for Borealisuchus. Brachychampsa can also do that, but Brachychampsa doesn't do that much damage, it's a lot smaller, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but, like, Borealisuchus is really, really hard to kill. The only way I was able to kill Borealisuchus was by kind of cheating it and having them be, like, halfway in the water. And for some reason, them being halfway in the water allowed it so they couldn't bite me as much, and I was able to kill them before they dealt damage to kill me. Um, so, yeah, they're in D because they're kind of annoying. They also jump out and attack you, uh, and they're just not as fun. So that's them, even though I love them. I should also preface, I love basically all of the creatures in this game. Actually, I feel bad putting you in D. I'm actually going to put you in C because you're technically annoying in the game for killing purposes, but you're cool. So there you go. Um, all right, Brachychampsa. I like Brachychampsa. Brachychampsa is pretty cool. Um, solid little alligator boy. Uh, they can just be... Oh, I should also mention, when I say boy, I'm saying boy is in B-O-I. So gender neutral. I'm not trying to say all of these all of these creatures are uh, are male because they're not. That would be that would be silly. But yeah, anyway, that's just I just want to preface that. So, um yeah, Braggy Champs is good. I like them. They're cute. Um they're just a little guy and they they're really aggressive and they'll run after you and attack you if you get close to them. They're just kind of cute. So, I don't know. I like them. Maybe I like them more than B. Maybe they're A. 
Yeah, I think I'll put them in hay. I like them. They're just good. Good, good, good little boys. Chamops. Chamops is a D, because... Chamops... Okay, so when you first started playing Saurian, the only food source available to, like, a baby Dakota Raptor were Chamops or Scavenging Kills. And Chamops are really, really hard to kill. They're so difficult. They're really fast, and they're agile, and it's just really difficult to bite them because you don't have a lot of accuracy in this game. So it's just tough to try to kill them. And, like, you can't track them that well. It, it's just... They're tough, uh, which is fair because they're a little lizard and they're supposed to, you know, you know, you're just supposed to be hard to kill, but they're just annoying to kill. And it, 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 especially in the beginning, like if you weren't really good at chasing Chamops and catching them, like you just die because it was the only food source you had. Um, so early on, Chamops was like necessary to kill, and it was really difficult to do so. So. Chamops, yeah, they're just kind of annoying. They're pretty lizards, I do like them in that regard, but, like, I guess if I have to say for this game, they're pretty annoying, um, and I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan of Chamops, um, but, yeah, also, like, when I'm a baby, if I see a Chamops at this point in the game, now that they've added a bunch of other little animals that you can eat, um, Chamops are less important now, and they're just way harder to catch than any of the other animals. Like, uh, you can get, like, all the other little animals you can catch now are Depalmas or Nithrin, um, uh, Didelphodon, and Les Lepis Osteus. And those are all much, much easier to catch as a baby. So there's not really much of a point in Chamops anymore, other than just, oh, hey, it's you. You've been here since the beginning. So I, I still like Chamops. I, I, I'm having to say that because I'm putting them in D, but like I guess if I had to rank them, yeah, they're they're lower on the list for sure. So yeah. Anyway, all right. Next is Champsosaurus. I actually love Champsosaurus a lot. Like I'm gonna put Champsosaurus. Hey, go up up what? There. Okay. I'm <laughs> suddenly like, wait a minute. I thought I tested this before. You could put them in order. What happened? Anyway, <laughs> I was oh, I just got really mad at the website again. Um. But yeah, uh, Champsosaurus is just really cool. I really liked when they got introduced. It was just a really cool, uh, much like larger, but also not dangerous crocodile morph that they added to the game, which is just cool. Um, I love how they look. I love their slender, very um, kind of uh, like lizardy, swimmy like movement. Um, I love how big they are. Um, I don't know. I just really like them. Also, if you need to. If you need a meal, they're surprisingly easy to kill. So if you need like a big food source, you can just jump in the water and bite them a whole bunch and it's really easy to kill them and get food. So that's another aspect. Um, they also had the hilarious glitch where they would swim onto land for a while and then the less funny glitch where they would then subsequently die because they were on land and they weren't supposed to be on land. But it also gave you free food. But yeah, it also, that was a weird, that was a weird point in the Saurian game because you'd be playing walking around and there'd just be like there'd just be dead champsosaurus all over the shoreline as you were walking down the river um and you rarely saw them alive because they were just swimming out of the water and dying it was kind of a weird period but anyway they're cool i really like them they were a really fun addition to the game solid good good boys i like them all right dakota raptor I mean, it's the playable dinosaur. It's, it was the original playable dinosaur. It's the playable dinosaur that gotten to do, like, most of the game with so far. I mean, they're great. I love them. I, I love Dakota Raptor just as a creature in general. Um, I'm, uh, I'm in the works of making a, um, an educational video on Dakota Raptor, and it's been so much fun learning about them. I, I mean, I love them. I, I, I you know put them in like low s tier i'd say i i think they're really amazing i love I, I love that they're the main kind of characters in the game i love their look i love all the feathers and i just yeah they're great dakota raptors are great i love i love them i love them greatly um yeah uh denver saurus i denver saurus is so cool i i really like denver saurus i i don't i didn't know much about like the notosaurs um, and it was kind of cool to have one in the game, um, and be able to see it and be like, oh, I, I didn't really know much about this, and then start to research them from there. 
Um, so that was really cool. Um, they're surprisingly easy to kill, and they don't do a lot of damage. So if you if you're just if you're trying to go after like one of the really really big herbivores, this is if you're just experimenting, just messing around, because there's no point in killing something that big. It's just too dangerous, and it takes too long for it to be worthwhile. But if you're just in the in the mood for like practicing, trying to learn how to kill some of the big, much harder herbivores, this is kind of a good start. Um, and then just cool, they're happy, it's fun to see them, they just kind of wander around, and um, yeah, I don't know, I like Denversaurus. Denversaurus is good, good. Uh, probably put you like there, that probably is good. So, yeah, Denversaurus is great. <sighs> De Palmas or Nithrin. Without a doubt, my most hated creature in the whole game. Uh, so when you're a baby, and I, I, I talked about Chamops being the hardest creature to kill as a baby, and that's true because Devalmers or Nithrin is really easy to kill as a baby. And as an adult, though, god, they're impossible to kill. Like, i still doing the Saurian, like, I, you know, once my computer works again and I'm able to play games again, I'm going to continue the killing um, series because I've discovered you can actually kill Tyrannosaurus, so we have to do that. And there's a new dinosaur who we'll get to later, Pectinodon, so we'll have to kill Pectinodon as well. Um, but I, yeah, I found out you can kill T-Rex. I was wrong in saying that you couldn't kill T-Rex, so I will have to go back in and kill T-Rex. It's just, you can't RPR T-Rex, which is odd, but whatever. So you have to just bite T-Rex in the ankles until, <laughs> until they die. That's the only way you can kill them, so... We have to do that at a later date. De Palmas and Nithrin's really annoying. Um, like when they were introduced, I was really excited because I was like, "Oh, good! There's finally another creature that um, uh, that the baby Dakota Raptors can eat, and it won't make the very beginning stages of being a baby ridiculously hard because you just can't find anything to eat other than a Chamop. So now we're gonna have De Palmas or Nithrin. It's gonna be great." And in the beginning, they just kept, like, dive-bombing into the water and drowning. And then once their bodies are in the water, you can't eat them. So, like, every time I saw them, unless I got a sneak attack on them, they got away and then died in the water, and then I couldn't eat them. So they were very annoying in that regard. They're really annoying to kill as an adult, as you probably, if you've seen my other Saurian videos, you'll know how annoyed I got at these guys. So that's them uh and then like it would e and like even now their ai still hasn't well i don't know about now but like the last time i played was like a triceratops um I, like i still remember like the De Palmas or nithrin's ai is not that good and it will sometimes just fly into the water and y they usually don't die when they fly into the water anymore but sometimes they'll just fly into the water and land on the bottom of the like river and then you can't get them and it's like, oh, cool, this food source that I'm supposed to be able to access is just gone. I don't like their thing in this game very much. They're a neat creature, but, and I I guess I don't know that much about them in general as a, as, as a creature, but eh, it's just, the whole time they've been in the game, they've not been a very uh, entertaining creature. They've either been, their AI's either just been broken and they fly into the water and kill themselves. I think there was also a point in time where they never tried to get away and so it was really easy to kill them. And at that point it was like, what's even the point? Um, I just, I don't know. I've never, they've never been that great in the game i feel like i don't think they've been a, a fantastic addition i mean there's they're, a cool addition to the game for sure i just don't think how they've been implemented has been that good so f tier least favorite creature in the game without a doubt <laughs> all right didelphodon um I, I like didelphodon i think it's a it's a cool addition i'm glad there are mammals in the game i'm glad it's not all just reptiles and birds um so that's cool so, uh, i'm gonna put them like d like low, lower D because they're nice because they're a nice food source but like that's kind of all they become because it's like as soon as I find a Del Delphodon it doesn't matter how old I am they can't get away they're way way slower than the adult Dakota Raptors and they can't hide so because you when you use the scent ability they just are highlighted in blue and you, they just can't you, you're just gonna get them they're never gonna get away so I they're, they're, they kind of feel lackluster. They're just kind of like, it's just a free meal every time I see them. Um, and they, they just can't get away. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't know. Didelphodon's not, I, I feel like isn't, 
it was a good addition to the game because it makes being a baby it basically guarantees that you're gonna make it to adult which was kind of adulthood which was kind of annoying when the only other food sources were like Chamops and D Diplomas or Nithrin. There wasn't always a guarantee just because there wasn't a lot of variety. The Delphodon almost makes it too easy and like even as an adult it's easy to catch them and you can just like oh look free food if I need a few bites like I don't know they're just not as cool. Um, so, yeah, I'd say low, deer t low D tier, because I think Chamops is technically cooler. No, I didn't mean to click. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. Alright. Less- Lep- Who oh, dear. <laughs> Lepisosteus. So, these guys, I, they just were a pretty cool inclusion to the game. Um, I like that you can fish them. Uh, I don't know, maybe- Maybe- yeah, I'd say, like, low C. Like, they're- cool um I, I i love gars i think gars are really actually you know what uh, high tier <laughs> high c tier okay i can only do one one movement at a time okay um yeah high c tier i'd say uh they're 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 fine there's nothing like they're not spectacular they're e very easy source of food but it can be a little tricky because you have to swim after them and then you have to figure out how to kick their body um, to the shore, so it's like, there's a little bit of challenge in catching them, it's not like Didelphodon, where it's just like, oh, you just get them, and that's the end, um, actually, low B, not before Ankylosaurus, but low, low B, I'd actually say, because they're, they're pretty cool, I really like Gars, Gars are awesome, um, I was excited when they were added to the game, it is another really nice food source for babies and adults, um, but there's a form of risk, because you can't always get them, because if, if there's crocodilians nearby, you can't jump in the water, because the crocodilians will maul you to death. So, um, so that, that's actually, I think, is a good balancing factor, is to have a small creature, but there is a risk to catching it, and I think that's cool. They can't get away, really, they don't swim away, they don't do anything like that. Um, which I think is interesting. I'm pretty sure Gars can do that. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't. So they fe this feels like a poor survival strategy if they couldn't just, like, quickly dart away from a predator. Um, but, yeah, it, that's been kind of interesting. I was kind of... I, it would be nice. I think they'd maybe rise in the tier list a little bit if they had a little bit better AI. But, like, I think they're pretty good overall. So, I like them. They're cool. Alright, the Mosasaur. The Mosasaur... The Mosasaur is a really... The Mosasaur is really cool. Like, I... Sh maybe there. Like, high, like pretty high... Like, I guess mid-A tier. They're, they're really cool. I mean, Mosasaurs are awesome in general. Um, and I know that you can't see them much in the game. They're kind of just a thing that if you swim out far enough, you know, it's it's a map protection thing, so you can't reach the edge of the map. They eat you before they get to the edge of the map. I think it's a really neat idea to kind of control the player from leaving. Um, I know it's not like, I know it's not like original to this game, there's other games that do that, but I really like that they did this, and I like that they included the Mosasaur, um, in this way in the game. Um, I just think that's really cool, so, I really like that, I really like the concept, I like the model in the game, um, and, uh, I like that they kind of see you, and it's not, like, terrifying, like, it's very much like, oh, look, the Mosasaur's here, this is your warning, like, you swam too far, you're gonna get eaten, um, and it's not just, like, a jump scare or anything, I actually really like that it's just kind of a slow, like, you know, the Mosasaur's here, it's time to get away now, um, or you're gonna get eaten, and I, I just really like that, so, Mosasaur's cool, I like that, I definitely high, definitely in A tier. Um, alright, the Ornithomimids, ah, they're so beautiful, I, I love the Ornithomimids in this game, um, uh, they're, they're gonna go in S tier. I, I even put them above Dakota Raptor, because I, I love how beautiful the Ornithomimids are in this game. Um, that's just really... That's something that is really uh, uh, beautiful about them and amazing, and I, I, I love that they're in this game. Um, I love the way they look, I love how, like, their size, like, it just everything about them is really cool. I love that they're in little groups. Um, they're just really cool. The, the one thing that I have grievance with, though, is that... And, like, I'm sure the Saurian devs have their reasoning for this, but I'm confused by it because I haven't found... I've Like, all the research I've found has been to the contrary of this, but the Ornithomimid somehow runs slower than adult Dakota Raptors. And that's really weird to me because Ornithomimid's, like, a whole 
thing is that they're supposed to be fast. And everything I've always learned about ornithomimids, which could be wrong, I haven't done research into this, but like everything I've learned about them is they're they're supposed to be kind of um, like their big strong point is that they're really fast. Like they have legs that are built to run fast. Um, so if like a predator's chasing them, their first thing they're gonna do is run away. But they're also like relatively large like they're, they're medium-sized dinosaurs i guess but they're like big enough that like if a dakota raptor came up and they didn't and they wanted they could fight the dakota raptor they could kick at the dakota raptor and slash at it and maybe bite it and like it would be somewhat of a fight like that kind of i can see that more like it makes a little bit of sense also what i've been learning is that raptor feet are not designed to run as fast they're still fast they're just not designed to run as fast as something like an ornithomimid and so that's kind of a grievance i have with the game is that the ornithomimids are slower than dakota raptors um and so if you're dakota raptor and you run at an ornithomimid like they don't they they will try to run away but they just don't run away that quickly and they're not faster than the dakota raptor and that's bizarre to me i'm i'm still kind of confused why that's the case because i feel like they absolutely should be faster and all of the scientific papers that i have read about the running speed of dinosaurs which granted i haven't read every single one of them but i've read quite a few has said that something like an ornithomimid should be much faster than a dakota raptor especially since the ornithomimids are bigger than the dakota raptors so uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm a little confused about that. Uh, I'm sure the Saurian devs have their reasoning. I haven't been able to find the reason why, but yeah, that's like my one big grievance with them is that they uh, seem much slower. They I feel like they should be the fastest creatures in this game, and they're not. So the Dakota Raptor is, and that's odd to me. But yeah, anyway. So that that's that's my thing with that. Anyway, moving on to Pachycephalosaurus. In theory, Pachycephalosaurus is quite a cool dinosaur. In this game, no, Pachycephalosaurus is really annoying. Um, I would probably put them in high D tier. Because in this game, like, the staple, like, prey of, of Dakota Raptor in this game is designed to be Pachycephalosaurus. At least once the Dakota Raptor is an adult. And if Pachycephalosaurus see you, they try to ram you no matter what, which is fine. There's definitely aggressive herbivores, uh, and then, like that, and that's not a, an issue. It's just that once you're a fully grown adult Dakota Raptor, being aggressive doesn't matter because even two Pachycephalosauruses can't kill a fully grown dakota raptor and as far as i know they don't run away from the fully grown dakota raptors and like when they go up and like get the headbutt hit in it does very very little damage so it's like there comes a point where like you know herbivores are ag are aggressive to a point where when the predator is so much bigger there's no like they don't aren't aggressive like you don't see like goats are somewhat aggressive um like herbivores like they'll they'll ram predators if they're attacking them but like if if something like you know if something like a like a tiger so you know this is a weird this is a weird analogy but if something like a tiger went up to eat a goat like the goat's probably not going to ram the tiger the goat's probably going to be like oh my god that thing's so much bigger than me i need to get away and yeah, Dakota Raptor is not that much bigger than the Pachycephalosauruses, but just in the how the game works with the damage, it's it seems like they're implying that the Dakota Raptor is a lot beefier, and so maybe the Pachycephalosauruses shouldn't be so aggressive. I don't know. I, I feel like once you're a fully grown adult, Pachycephalosauruses just are so little of a threat that their aggression is just kind of laughable. It makes sense when the Dakota Raptor is younger because they're actually a threat when that happens. I just I'm a little confused why they're like that when they're adults uh, when the dakota raptors are fully grown adults so i don't know um yeah i i don't know i feel like they're not i i don't know they they haven't impressed me tremendously in the game if anything they're often kind of annoying like i'm trying to um i'm trying to like you know do something completely unrelated to them and they'll run up and attack me all the time so and and that's fine like as a gameplay mechanic i actually think it's a good gameplay mechanic they're just a little bit annoying to deal with in the game that's why i'm putting them kind of low on the list so yeah anyway that's that um paleo so 
Paleo Santa was a really, really cool creature. I didn't know they existed. Um, I love their design. I love that they're a Gila monster. Um, look uh i love the the venomous bite aspect of the game and i love that even like kind of only once you're like a fully grown adult can paleo santa wa like their venom not really be a threat to you anymore which is really cool i i like that there's a small venomous creature that has that because it feels like a realistic defense um in a world where there's a whole bunch of really big dinosaur predators that would do that like having a venomous bite would be a really good defense um, so I actually really like Paleo Zanawa, and I like that eventually the Venom isn't strong enough to hurt big Dakota Raptors. Like, that's really cool. So, I like Paleo Zanawa. I think they're very cool. I'll probably put them... Mm, yeah, maybe here. They're, they're, they're quite high for me. I, I like them a lot, so they're very cool. So, yeah. Good, good. Um, Alright, Pectinodon. So, I never played with Pectinodon. Um... You know, the, the game updated after I started having issues with my computer, so I wasn't really able to test them out and see what they're like. So, yeah, um, I mean, their look is really cool. I think they're extremely beautiful. I actually think they're the prettiest raptors in the game at this point. I think they're a raptor. I think, yeah. Um, I hope they are. I hope I got that right. Um, and uh, I like that there's a new mechanic where they only spawn at night. So that's just a cool mechanic that they added. Um, so, yeah, I think they're very cool. And uh, just because they're so pretty, um, I mean, I haven't... Because they're so pretty and I haven't played with them, I'm going to put them, like, at the high A tier because they seem really cool. I bet I'm really going to like them once I actually play the game again. All right, uh, Quetzalcoatlus. They're not really my favorite pterosaur. Like, those other pterosaurs I think are cooler. I think they're just me personally. I don't know. They're, they're neat. It's cool that they're really big. Um, it's cool that they probably walked around and ate little dinosaurs and stuff and uh i think it's neat that they're flying around in the game um i think it's i think they're gonna i think they're gonna add quetzalcoatlus as an actual like physical creature in the game but for now they're not a real thing they're just kind of flying around so they could just kind of look neat so at bottom of it d tier you know they're they're there you know it's fine they're not my favorite creature or anything so you know whatever they're there uh, maybe once they're implemented in the game, they'll rise higher in the chart, but that's where they're at for now. Thessalosaurus. I love Thessalosaurus. Thessalosaurus is so beautiful. I loved when they got added to the game. Um, I love their size because it's, it's a nice kind of middle point for um, as you're growing as a Dakota Raptor to be able to kill um, uh, like this kind of size creature. Um, they're, they beautiful colors i love how they look i think their ai is quite good um their speed seems fair um they never seemed like t really really fast um uh, but they seem like a decent good speed like i, I don't know they just seem really I, I feel like their ai is just really good in the game overall like they're one of the few creatures that i feel like actually run away at an appropriate time like i feel like if you see a dakota raptor who's like your size or a bit smaller and you're a Dakota Raptor, if you just are, like, running around just kind of doing nothing in particular, they run away, like, as soon as they see you. Um, and then, like, things like the Ornithomimids, if you're a fully grown Dakota Raptor, they should maybe be a little wary of you, especially if you are sprinting at them, and they don't really run away until you're, like, on top of them, and then they start to run away, so... Uh, but Thessalosaurus always seemed like, it was like, oh, this seems like a relatively, like, realistic distance that it would be like, uh-oh, I need to run away, and then it starts to run away. Like, I I think that's, I just like them to that. So, anyway, Thessalosaurus is awesome. I love them a lot. I'm probably even going to put them at the very top of A tier, because they're just that cool. In fact, n screw it, I'm putting them here. I actually think I like Thessalosaurus more than I like Dakota Raptor. Maybe not. Maybe I like to correct more. I don't know. They're close, but th th I think that's Los Soros' S tier. I think that's fair to say. So, cool. All right, Triceratops. I mean, this is the second playable dinosaur. Um, I'm, I know I only got to play like one episode's worth of that, and I played nothing of them off of that episode, and then I couldn't record anymore. So I'm excited to get back in and play as them at one point. Um, their life cycle seemed really cool. The devs put a lot of work into just having a very different lifestyle than Dakota Raptor. Um, and playing them as them was just really fun. I mean, it was it was great. I, I I I think they're really cool. I love how Ceratopsians look in general. I just think they're really awesome dinosaurs. Um, 
and uh, I love their look in this game. I think they look really good. They just look really pretty. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're, they're awesome. Um, they're so hard to kill. So far, I feel like they took longer than anyone else, which makes me feel like they're kind of combination of health and armor is probably the highest of anything in the game which is neat um and they're just they you know they're just they're beautiful they're cool um it was fun to play as them i'm excited to play as them more i mean they're great i, I love them so i'm probably gonna put them like there no 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 ornithomimid first ornithomimids are good boys they go ahead of triceratops um yeah i just yeah they're great i love them uh, they're very cool all right uh, last up is T-Rex. Alright, I have some controversial opinions about T-Rex. And the starting thing is that I think T-Rex is probably the most overrated dinosaur, um, period. And I'm sure lots of people are going to be like, what? How dare you say that? Tyrannosaurus is, is, is awesome. Is the best. Is all this stuff. And like, and yeah, I, Tyrannosaurus is a really cool theropod for sure. Like it's the, the bite strength thing is really cool. The like incredible smell is really cool. Um, the bone crushing teeth are really cool. Um, like it's just, just how big it is, is really cool. Like it's, it's, you know, either the biggest or like up there in the biggest, um, predatory dinosaurs that have lived and that, I mean, they're just, they're cool in that regard. In the grand scheme of things, like, I don't know, they're just, they're theropods and like most theropods are kind of all quite similar to me like they are i i know they're all different like obviously they're all quite different but like a lot of the theropods are just quite similar like they're they're bipedal they're big and they got you know big mouths and they they, they chomp things like I, I don't know it's kind of fun when there's different ones like that's why i like raptors so much is because they have the weird toe and they're kind of lightly built and yeah, there are lightly built theropods but like a lot of the like classic big theropods they're all kind of the same um and then like you know some of the big deviations are like therizinosaurs and therizinosaurs are my favorite dinosaurs so they're they stand out like way out about way out from everybody else to me because they're so different and so interesting and and t-rex is interesting too and we know and the other cool thing about t-rex is we know a lot about t-rex because it's been studied really heavily um so like they're cool, but at least for me, in the end, they're just kind of another big theropod. And there's a lot of big theropods, and they're all pretty similar. And T-Rex is, is a standout of those big theropods, but in the end, it's still a big theropod. And it just, eh, I don't know, they're not they're not as cool to me as I, as I feel a lot of other people think they are. Um, like, if I had to make a, a tier list of all the dinosaurs in the world, like, they'd probably be, like, low B for me. Like, they're just not great at least personally that's just my feeling i know lots of people find t-rex as their favorite dinosaur and that's totally fine i'm not like saying that that's bad that that's your favorite dinosaur it's just not my favorite dinosaur and it also ranks pretty low on the list of dinosaurs and it's interesting to me how popular they are i i would f at least to me i would feel like some of the some of the like standout different dinosaurs would be more popular but that's not the case it seems like t-rex is very t-rex is just a very popular dinosaur and i can see why like i'm i'm fine with that it's just me personally not so much um but in the game um t-rex is cool i always love seeing t-rex in the game it's always just fun seeing them walk around um it's fun seeing them chase things because they're they're kind of scary in how deliberate they are when they chase something. Like they're just like, oh, food, and they just kind of they just kind of walk after it at their own pace. Um, you know, they don't run that fast, so they they just kind of walk after it, like make no sounds or facial expressions, and they just kind of bite it, and that's the end. And it's just like that's terrifying, but it's really cool. Um, so that's always kind of fun to see. Um, and. And uh, I love their original design. I mean, it was so cool. I love seeing big feathered um, theropods because I know that Saurian made a big thing about why they think it doesn't have feathers. And I'm probably going to make a video at some point arguing my side of it with evidence. Obviously, I wouldn't just say like, you know, just arguing it for no reason. But like their argument with that T-Rex has no feathers was just... Uh, 
I disagree very heavily. I feel like there's basically no reason to come to that conclusion. Um, there's, I think there's all the conclusion in the world to come to the fact that T-Rex has not a lot of feathers, has like, you know, just a little fluffy, little fluffs of feathers, little sparse feathers here and there. That, I think, is fair to argue. I don't think it's fair to argue they have none, though. Like, that that just doesn't make any sense. I'll argue the full side of that debate later on, but anyway, yeah, so I'm a little disappointed, personally, in all the work they put into the T-Rex. Oh, okay, I'm not, sorry, that's, that came out bad. That came out wrong way. I'm impressed severely. I'm, it's severely? I'm extremely impressed. That's a better word. I'm extremely impressed by all the work the Saurian team has put into, um, like, remaking uh, T-Rex and making all the mus muscle musculature and the, like, lip and the tongue argument and just everything about the T-Rex. Like, they did phenomenally with that. I'm just a little disappointed that at the very end they did everything, like, really, really well and then they were like, oh, but also no feathers. And it was like, what? No, that's not... Uh. So, anyway... Anyway, that's just a personal opinion for me. Um, I, I, the, I really liked the old designs of the T-Rex because I liked the feathers that they had. I'm a little disappointed this doesn't have feathers, but the redesign is beautiful. It's still really cool. They're doing great science. You know, it's all good. Um, yeah, anyway, I rambled on a long time about T-Rex and uh, uh, there. Like, yeah, bottom of C. Like, they're, they're not... They're fine, and they're cool in the game. Oh, also, I forgot to mention. They're annoying in the game because, like, many times when I kill something as a Dakota Raptor, the T-Rex will just walk up and just steal it from me. And that's always frustrating because it's like, well, I can't do anything about it because you're much, much bigger than me. And I guess this is just how things work. You know, you can bully little guys and take their food, which is fair, but it also makes me frustrated. <laughs> so that's another reason why they go a little bit lower on this list. Um, I think if, if I was just ranking dinosaurs, they'd be in B, but because they're annoying in this game, and because of some of the just because of some of the the, the drama around the t-rex in the game because um, another reason is that like they did really great science and redesigning the t-rex and a lot of the things they did were really cool the only downside like even apart from my personal feelings on that the other downside is that because they did that it it severely delayed the development of the game like there was like the like year or year and a half that they were redesigning the T-Rex, it really felt like the like updates to the game itself were just really slow. Um, and like this is important. It's really important for science. It doesn't matter for the game per se, but like just from a game maker's perspective, it is a little like uh, you know maybe may maybe you should have held off on this for a little bit. Like maybe you should have done this redesign, like you know when you're getting to making the T-Rex playable. It just was. And, like, that's another thing. They redesigned the T-Rex, and the, and the redesigned T-Rex isn't in the game yet. And I think they're not even planning to put it in until the T-Rex is playable. And, like, with how the game is... How slowly the game is being developed, um, you know, that could be years from now before they have this implemented. So, from a game-making standpoint, that's another little bit of a minus here. But from a science standpoint, they did great work with it. I think it's really cool. But, yeah, so... That is this. That was all 22 creatures currently in the game. Um, I didn't include plants because I don't know plants very well, um, and also finding pictures of the plants is really hard. Um, so I didn't. I just didn't do that. I just did the animals. So yeah, this is a tier list. Uh, Basilemus is first, not surprisingly, because Basilemus is the best boy in the universe. Um, the Ornithomimids are second, which also makes sense because Ornithomimids are great. Um, and then yeah. The rest is kind of makes sense. So, yeah. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Are there uh, different creatures you put in different places? Do you agree or disagree with certain aspects of how I did this? Um, I'm sure the T-Rex is an extremely controversial decision. <laughs> um, so, that's fair. You, like, if you, if you disagree with me on that, that's completely understandable. I can definitely see arguments for putting T-Rex much higher. Um, but just me personally, that's why I have it. So... Yeah, anyway, that was that. Um, subscribe, make that percentage of subscribers higher than 92%. Let's get it up higher to something else just because, you know, more subscribers is cool and it'll make the channel grow and I can do more with it if that happens. Um, uh, my, like, goal is that we can get it to 1,000 subscribers um, so we can unlock the community tab. Um, because then, then I can actually interact with you guys some more because right now I can kind of only do it through comments, which is a little lame, but... Yeah, so hopefully we can get to that. So, thank you all for watching, and have a great, great life, everyone.